Hey everybody, today I wanted to tell a little story and the story is about um, why I sold my 1010 Music Black Box for the Koala Sampler um, that you can run on any iPhone, iPad, I believe they have it for uh, Android as well. And what happened is I, I was in the hospital for a couple months. My daughter was born premature and my son had been born premature a couple years before. And I had the black box in the hospital with him the first time. And it was just, it was awesome having the black box to, to do tracks. I finished a lot of songs that, uh, that I created on the black box. And so I had the black box with me the second time when I was away from home for a couple months in the hospital. And that's when I discovered, uh, the Koala sampler and it, it actually filled a lot of the uh, of the needs that I had that I was using um, the black box for. If you check out my video on my portable uh, black box setup, you'll see that one of the primary functions that I had the black box for was a portable, you know, sampling workstation. So um, let me just show you my workflow, and I'm going to show you uh, why I really like Koala. But then, uh, spoiler alert. I actually rebought the black box. It's actually coming back to me in the mail today. And I'll show you actually the one reason there was actually one main reason. Um, there's a couple of, uh, reasons that are related to that, some other reasons, but one main reason, uh, that I was frustrated with the Koala app and I'm getting the black box back for stay tuned. So here's what's awesome about Koala, and this falls into my workflow. So I just have a normal bass drum with a four on the floor loaded up, and we'll just go in here. Oops, didn't want to do that. We'll get rid of that. We're just going to go into our sample library. And I just usually like to load up some uh, basic top loops just for context, because what I want to get into is I want to get into chopping uh, samples as quick as possible. Sure. Load up another one. Fine with some, let's find some with some snares. Sure. Whoops, didn't want to record. Okay, so what I like to do is just get some context here. And one of the things that I really like about um, the Koala Sampler is the time stretching. So we'll just select one of those and we can just go to stretch. And I think you do have to add the, the main app is $5, but then you add a bunch of tools that includes auto chop, um, splitting stems out, which is really cool. Um, that's something definitely the black box doesn't do, uh, make mono. Um, there's a bunch of other, uh, stuff in here too. We've got the, I think the EQ was part of the, uh, as part of the pack but anywho so what i like to do is i just like to go in here and uh stretch these all out and it automatically stretches them which is really nice and you can you can adjust that stretch uh, if you want to change how fast or slow it's playing it's got a couple different stretch modes which is really neat so once i get in there i just like to get some context going Something like that, just get the beat going. I can always change it, write something new later. And here's where the, the magic happens for me for Koala. So if I go into uh, YouTube, I got a huge um, folder in there. Uh, I don't wanna get a copyright strike here, but find something you like, go into your screen recorder. And then as soon as it starts recording, let's go ahead and play some of the music. I'll probably fast forward. Here. Go ahead and stop our screen recording. Go back to Koala and then go to our menu and we're going to import video. This is the one of the coolest parts about it. Uh, we're gonna grab that little video. You can uh, preview it there, but I'm just gonna say use. And boom, it stripped it off <coughs> and put it on a pad. So we can go in here, we can, uh, we can truncate that just a little bit. You can go in and time stretch it in here if you wanted to. For the sake of this video, we're just gonna crop it and chop it. So crop and now auto chop. And this is one of the things that I really love about the black box and what really, really one of the things that really attracted to me to Koala 
but it actually ended up being one of the things that the main thing that makes that's making me go back to the black box and i posted about this on the qual form i was really surprised i got a lot of pushback from people um who were saying it wasn't really a big deal but for me speed is everything especially when i'm just trying to get ideas down so the problem for me is if, if you look right here on any of these chops you can see if we preview it see how it's getting the end i mean this one's not too bad but you'll see whoops i accidentally put an extra one in there but you'll see it plays the front of the what should be the next chop when you do it on the black box you'll get a chop that's actually more like this whoops putting some extra ones in there even this one has the front of that sample it would be more like that on the black box now, i don't want to go in and have to like adjust every single one of these so it's not playing you can see on every single one it's grabbing part of that sample you almost get like a click that's my number one gripe um, but it's it's really cool once you once you do chop it it's the same kind of workflow that i like on the black box um, the only other thing that that that's a big difference between the black box and this and my workflow is that when you go when you chop this up it takes up as many pads you'll you would notice that when i was in that chop menu it'll tell you how many pads you have left after how many chops you do which is cool but when you chop something on the black box you can have literally like a whole track you can chop the whole thing and you have all those pads i've had i don't know at least a hundred or more chops from one from one white wave file from one track and they're all on they're only taking up one pad because within the black box pad you have the full chromatic keyboard that you can have all those chops on so i could literally have i think 16 tracks you know 16 wave files chopped up and within each of those tracks you know you can have all those chops whereas here your chops eat up all so if i chopped you know if i chopped uh 64 i would be out i wouldn't have any room for any other chops or any other drums so you guys get the idea so that that just kind of shows you my workflow and my frustration with the qual app I, I wish it was something that they would fix it seems super easy like i said i was really surprised that the people on the quala forum i think it was on reddit uh acted like it was no big deal and i was being a baby about it but let me tell you if i can go if i can go straight to to jamming and chopping and come up with ideas and i don't have to go in there and and you know trim everything i don't know i i've i've never used the mpc i don't know how it does but i'm assuming it does a lot better job that the newer mpcs that is uh with auto chopping but to me the black box does it great um, it's one of the reasons why I use the black box with the Oct track for sequencing. Check out that video here. It's a, just a really powerful combo. I'm excited to get the black box um, back in the rotation today. Um, I probably will still use this when I'm traveling sometimes, especially if I am just taking an iPad or I even made a lot of beats on my phone um, when I was at my daughter's bedside in the hospital, uh, which is cool. One thing, uh, Bluetooth is uh is a no-no with this if you want to jam in because you you will get that delay so you're going to need one of these little bad boys uh but if anybody's just starting out and you don't have any hardware and you want to get into sampling i highly recommend koala like i do not have a lot of complaints about it to be honest it has a lot of powerful tools it's a really great thing um, but for me i love chopping i love chopping quickly and getting ideas down and uh yeah that's one thing um that, that was holding me back and it really uh pushed me back to spend another five six hundred dollars to get a to get a black box so hope you enjoyed this video if you got any questions or you got any experience with either one the black box or the koala and you want to share your thoughts uh share them down below hit the like and subscribe button and uh thanks to all my patreons out there i really appreciate you guys have a great day and god bless